Welcome back everyone. Well I've got a, a knife video for you today. It is the Spyderco Dragonfly 2 and there's two things that make this knife very special. It's going to be the blade steel. It's this H1 steel which is highly corrosion resistant and it's also the overall weight. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the weight real quick. I've got a scale here. Hopefully this will show up for you all. Just back it up here so it'll show. 1.24 ounces. So actually, it's just a hair over an ounce, and uh, that is impressive. Now it is a small knife. It has an FRN handle that has no steel liners, so you're going to get you're going to get a very lightweight package there. It's also a very small blade, but that's okay. It will still fill its role. And uh, again, it's the H1 steel. I was able to go down to the Gulf Coast recently. Pretty much toted this knife in my swim trunks in the ocean uh, for a week straight. And uh, it was just in, in these damp trunks all day. And then I, at the end of the day, I would rinse it out with some water. Uh, it did well. The only bit of staining I saw is if you see here on the etching on the H1, the number one got a little bit of staining, some rust staining on there, but I was able to, just with some oil, wipe it off. It was all surface, no pitting, and uh, everything else, like jimping, there's no rust anywhere to be found on this. No, no even staining except for that one spot that I mentioned. Another purpose for picking up this, and was something that I hadn't thought much about until recently I was out on a run and I was approached by a pit bull and I was running by this house they have a lot of large breed dogs that they don't leash or kennel and uh, they just kind of roam around and uh, needless to say I was on the opposite side of the road and uh, when I was passing the house I didn't even see the dog I didn't even know they had that animal and he approached me and it just kind of gave me a moment of pause where I was thinking Hey, you know, I'm just talking to the dog and I'm just kind of moving out of the way and moving along. Um, but it was intimidating for sure. And, uh, you know, I thought about something, a lightweight concealable knife, something that where my uh, perspiration wouldn't affect a steel. Something like this would work well. Um, again, it's real compact. It's real light. That's a good solid pocket clip on it. And... Uh, you know, sweat will not deter this steel like it would on obviously a high carbon steel or even some stainless steel blades. Um, this would not be, in that type of scenario, would not be your first option. Uh, that would probably be something more like a small keychain pepper spray, which would be your primary. Uh, mode of defense. You know, you could put that in your running shorts or like a running vest, uh, something like that. This would be more of a last ditch thing, but uh, an option for sure. Also, uh, sport fishing, uh, going down to the coast, anytime you're going to be around a salty environment, even a humid environment, which down here in the south is prevalent in the spring and summer months. And uh, this knife will just really hold up well in those situations. Let me just give you an idea of the size of this knife real quick. Here is the Victorinox Cadet. Let's see here, we can kind of get those so you can size them up. Pretty comparable. You know, and if you're familiar with the Cadet, you know that it's a small pocket knife as well. Uh, here also is uh, Benchmade. This would be kind of a different different class probably, I would say, a knife. But this is the Mini Griptilian. Um, real common knife as well. So if you're familiar with that. I mean, quite a bit bigger blade, but I just want to throw that up, at, up there as a comparison for you to see. You know, I don't want to get too long-winded here. Uh, just wanted to quickly talk about this blade. It is great for uh, for what it is. I mean, you could obviously use it as an EDC. It's not an intimidating knife. Um, it's very small, 
uh, has a lock back on it. The clip is reversible, left to right carry, depending on how you want to carry it. Um, great little knife, uh, won't break the bank. And uh, shoot, what else was I going to say? There's one more thing I was going to mention sharpness out of the box. It was very impressive. <laughs> when I got it, I missed some spots when I was shaving that morning. So I actually used this knife and I uh, dry shaved a little bit of my face. No problem on that. Also, kind of a unique way that I used it was my daughter had gotten some stitches at the hospital recently. We took them out the other day and actually I used this knife to cut the stitches. Um, just kind of worked just the tip end under the stitch and it just cut right through it and then I pulled out the remaining thread with some tweezers. It's sharp, you know, that, that's what the point of that was, is it's a sharp knife. I've used it every day for a couple of weeks, haven't touched it up. It's still razor sharp like a scalpel. So that's about it. Uh, it's a great little knife. And uh, hope y'all are doing well. Thanks for the comments and take care.